everybody and welcome to our last installment of the Healthy Workplace series. And today we're going to just recap a couple of very quick things about what it takes to build a, ha a healthy and highly performing workplace. And I'll introduce you to the next series that's coming up with Matt Zobris in it. So again, uh, my name is Tim Schneider and uh, with Aegis Learning and welcome to our final installment of Healthy Workplace. First, let's talk about what a healthy workplace isn't. And, you know, painfully, I've seen some of these descriptors thrown around. A healthy workplace isn't some kind of hodgepodge of, you know, random skills thrown into a blender and we, you know, mix them all up and say, well, you did all those things and now this is going to be a healthy workplace. That couldn't be farther from the truth. A healthy workplace requires a strategic and highly tactical approach to going out and managing a lot of multiple facets in a work in an organization. Now, I know that sounds a little overwhelming, but boy, there are a lot of pieces associated with creating a truly healthy workplace. And as a matter of recap, let's start with some of the ones that we've talked about throughout the series. Healthy workplaces are very, very interested in meeting and satisfying the needs of their team members. Those needs include physiological needs through payroll and compensation, safety and security needs through economic security and job security, social needs in terms of the relationship depth and strength they have with their leader and other social connection uh, opportunities they have in the working environment, things like adopting a, a cause and things like impromptu social events. Healthy workplaces also work very hard to meet the self-esteem needs of their team members through things like positive feedback and recognition and, how about this, appreciation and just saying thank you. Furthermore, that healthy workplaces also uh, spend a significant amount of time with growth and development of their team members, and they're doing that to rise them up through a self-actualization type of motivation. And then additionally, and kind of finally, healthy workplaces also work hard to create an internal service culture where internal team members receive the same courtesy and urgency and respect that an external customer would receive. They work on a high degree of transparency, whether that's good news or whether it's challenging news and they have to be brutally honest about something. And they are also ethically congruent. Same rules that apply for one person or one group of people also apply to another person and another group of people. When you put those together, those are the ingredient sets, the strategic ingredients associated with building a healthy workplace. Now, does that take time? Absolutely. Does that take a lot of concerted effort? Absolutely. Is that more than just one person driving it in an organization? Yes, of course it is. That takes a really dedicated effort to make that happen. But boy, when it does, the performance levels, the engagement levels, the, the customer service levels just absolutely positively take off. I hope that all of you are able in small form or even in big macro form, able to use some of those tactics and approaches to building a healthy and highly performing workplace. And if there's any ever anything I can do to help you with that, please, please reach out, let me know. Now, finally, I said I was going to uh, introduce a new series coming up, and I think you guys are really going to love this. First of all, it's not me, which I know some of you are secretly rooting for right there, but it's Matt Zobrist, a Aegis Learning team member, and a multi-part series on mentoring others. I think you're really going to enjoy that. Matt is a very, very talented facilitator, and I think you're going to get a lot out of that and a great deal of uh, benefit and value. So until the next time I see you, until the next time we're together again at Leading Edge, I hope you have a terrific week and I really hope you enjoy Matt's new series.